Welcome back to SnowRunner on Hard Mode. At the end of the last episode, we completed the oil delivery contract and the working stiff task to unlock the CAT 745C. There are a couple of vehicle upgrades that I'd like to unlock next, so let's put the CAT to use by picking them up. First up is the raised suspension upgrade for the International Lodestar. Next, at the top of the hill is the last engine upgrade for the Fleet Star and White Western Star, and there's a task we can complete while we're there. To complete the environmental issue task, we'll just need to deliver the curtain side trailer to the research zone. The CAT 745C is unable to tow standard trailers, but it can pull them along with its winch.
With that task complete, it's time to make our first vehicle purchase, the International Lodestar. We don't currently have a Scout class vehicle deployed in Alaska, and I had been waiting until I picked up the raised suspension upgrade for it, so I could buy the largest tyres first. I'll install the raised suspension upgrade and sell the stock suspension. I'll buy a set of 41 inch chain tyres and sell the original highway tyres as they won't be needed again. I'll purchase another autonomous winch. We'll need to add a snorkel and I'll buy the pickup chassis add-on as this will give us 100 litres of extra fuel, 150 repair points and 3 spare tyres. To finish it off, I'll give it some roof lights and a red paint scheme. I'll use the Lodestar to unlock the watchtower between the service hub and the logging station and will then pick up an engine upgrade for trucks like the Royal BM17. The Lodestar is one of the heaviest Scout class vehicles in the game and uses a truck engine and gearbox with always on all wheel drive and diff lock. This makes it very capable in tough conditions. It will use more fuel per minute than the lighter Scouts such as the Chevy CK1500 but the Lodestar is significantly faster through mud and snow and has a higher fuel capacity so it still has a very respectable range. I'll leave the Lodestar parked here as we may need to borrow some fuel from it to complete the next contract which is to deliver four loads of drilling parts to the factory past the logging station. We left the White Western Star at the service site so it's ready to be loaded up.
We used quite a bit of fuel getting to the service site the first time in the White Western Star. This time we're carrying a heavier load and have further to go. We do have a maintenance trailer with fuel at the factory we're delivering these items to, but I wasn't quite sure if it would make it there with the fuel we have remaining. While we are much lower on fuel than I'd normally be comfortable with, we don't have too far to go, so I opted not to borrow some from the Lodestar. We made it to the factory with a little bit of fuel left to spare. With that delivery complete, we've reached rank 19. 
Next on the list is the Port Polar Base Supply Contract, but I'll save that for the next episode. Thanks for watching.